Holy Sepulchre. We do not claim that this is where it all happened, but if it wasn't here, it was very near. It's in this vicinity. Um, it is in a place that we celebrate today because there's an empty tomb. Um, and that's the big idea. We don't celebrate a place today, we celebrate a person. Amen. And so will you come with me? Um, by the way, three days ago it snowed in Canada where I'm from. So I'm very glad to be here. <laughs> but I'm really glad to be here with you. Please come with me. Mama? <laughs> I <laughs> <laughs> The Junan. I can switch it. Yeah, I can. I'm a she. Good. my brother there's a picture that's probably over a hundred years old and you can see it a little clearer from that picture than you can here but it is the same place this is called Skull Hill and if you notice that there is a a mark of a marked resemblance between here and the face of a skull okay and so it has been called Skull Hill. Now let me give you four words today. Um, face, place, road, and wall. Face, place, road, and wall. Um, here we find a, a face on a hillside that resembles a skull. The, the Bible says here that bearing his cross, Jesus went out into a place called the place of a skull which is called in Hebrew, Golgotha. Golgotha is Hebrew and Aramaic for skull. But the word in Latin is Calvary. Um, we love that song that talks about a hill far away. Um, I love that song. But the Bible never tells us that Jesus was crucified on a hill. It just says he was crucified on a place. The place so we have a place, we have a place, right now it's a bus terminal. Back then, it was probably a place, at least traditionally, for ex executions. The, the Jews would execute a criminal by what? Stoning, stoning. The Romans would execute a criminal through crucifixion. Jesus was turned over to the Romans, and so they would crucify him. Now, we know that we have a face on the side of the hill. There's a place that's known for probable, a probable place for execution, but along here would have been a roadway that was very busy back in the days of Jesus, coming out of the Damascus Gate, 
going past here and going northward, this uh, roadway, especially during the time of Passover, would have been full of people. And a likely place for the Romans to do a crucifixion because they wanted to make it a public example of the criminal. So they would shame them and humiliate them. And they would crucify them in front of the most people they, they could find. And the people would come up and they would jeer and they would call out accusations and they might even get close enough to spit on the person who would crucify them. It was a humiliating way to die. And so here's a place where there's the face on the hill. It's a place of known, probable known execution. There's a roadway that ran past here, which is likely to be a roadway where the Romans would crucify somebody to side. And then you're close to the wall. You're near the city, but you're not in the city. You're on the outside of the wall. The wall is probably the same place the wall would have been 2,000 years ago. So you are outside the city wall. Jesus was taken outside the city to be crucified. We just want to end this part by saying, you and I are very deeply loved by God. He sent his son to die on a cross. Whether it was here or somewhere else, we know that he died on a cross. He was constrained by love. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever would believe on him would not perish but have everlasting life. Please take a few moments you may take a picture of this picture and get a picture of what we see today. There has been erosion on the side of this hill, so it is more clear in the picture. But welcome to a place called Spirit. Take a few moments here and 